Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Paul Hill from ITFlee.com and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can allow all of your VMs in VirtualBox to communicate on an internal network, also allow them to communicate with your host PC, and allow them all to be connected to the internet. So the, there's four steps to get this done. First you need to create a host only network, then you need to add that host only network to your VMs in addition to the default NAT adapter. Next, we're going to configure the networking adapters on the VMs, and then number four, this is the most important step where everyone gets hung up, we need to open the firewall on the host-only network adapter. A lot of people get their VMs set up on the internal network, but they can't ping or communicate, and it's because Windows Firewall is blocking the uh, connection. So let's go ahead and get in. So I'm going to open VirtualBox here. And I have two VMs created. I just went ahead and grouped them for you guys. So I have two VMs on Windows Server 2016, and it was just released the other uh, couple weeks ago. So let's go ahead and get started by creating a new network. So in VirtualBox, select the File dropdown from the top left corner, select Preferences, go down to the Networking tab, and click on Host Only Networks. Now we can see here that I already have a host only network set up, but I'm going to create a new one by clicking this little plus button on the right hand side. Now it's asking me, user access control is asking me if I'd like to uh, allow VirtualBox to manage my uh, networking adapters. I'm going to say yes because we need to allow this to go through. So it's creating the interface. So now we have a new network called number three. All right, so we're going to click, we're going to select that network and over here on the right hand corner we're going to select the edit selected host only network. Now here we can choose any network that we would like. Uh, also, it gives us the uh, net mask, which is you know kind of standard. And then under DHCP, if you'd like, VirtualBox will emulate a DHCP for server for you. Now I do a lot of uh, Windows Server training on my website, itfleet.com, and on Udemy. So uh, I like to show people how to set up DHCP manually. So I'm just not going to show that right here. Uh, but if you want to check this box, you can, and your uh, VMs will automatically get, grab an IP. All right, so that'll cut out one step for you. Now, if you'd like to change this, you can. You just need to make sure you don't use a network or an IP address that's already in use. Now, how you can find that out is by opening, in the bottom left, you click on your Windows button and just open Command Prompt or type in the words CMD and allow it to search for Command Prompt. Okay, so we'll open Command Prompt by left clicking. And I'm gonna drag this over so you guys can see what's going on here. If I type in the command IP config and press enter, and I'll make this window a little larger. If I scroll up here, we can see here's my networking adapters. Now, this is a networking adapter that I'm using for my other network that I teach all my training on for Windows Server. And here is my host computer's networking adapter. I can see it's Ethernet 2. You can see here it says VirtualBox host only network number two and VirtualBox host only network number three. Now I can use any IP address for my new host only network as long as it doesn't conflict with any of these ones I already have going. So I'm using dot one, I'm using dot zero, so I think I'll just go with dot two instead of 136. Now you can use 136 if you'd like, it's just easier for me to remember a dot two than a 136, okay? I can remember I have three networks going and they start from zero, you know, zero through two. So 192.168.2.1. Okay, I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna click OK again. And again, it's asking me to make changes to the uh, networking adapter. I'm going to select yes. And now we're done with that step. Now step two was adding the host only network adapters to our VMs. So I want these two VMs to be on a connected network with each other and I want them to be able to communicate with the host as well as the internet. So I'm going to select these VMs and I'm, for each VM, I'm going to right click and choose settings. I'm going to go down to the network tab and we can see here adapter one is set to the default settings which is net network access I'm sorry network address translation now you need to leave it at net don't change it to NAT networked or any of these other ones okay that needs to be net that is your internet access okay we're gonna select adapter 2 I'm gonna select enable network adapter and I'm gonna choose host only adapter now Right here we have two drop two drop downs because I have two networks created. Now you want to select the uh, network that you just created. If you only have one, it'll default to the uh, the only one you have. Just make sure that this is on the same network as the other VM, and we'll check that in a second. So I'm going to select OK. Now I'm going to go down to the second VM that I want to be connected, and I'm going to right click, choose Settings, again go down to Network, again verify Adapter One is set to NAT and it is enabled. Go to Adapter Two. Enable the network adapter, select host only adapter, 
and again make sure it's on number three the same network that we just created now we're going to select OK and now I'm going to power on both of these virtual machines now this might take a second so I might actually end up cutting out some of this on the video so you don't have to sit here and watch me power on a couple of virtual machines so I'm going to cut until these VMs are powered on and we'll continue on with the lesson okay so the VMs have loaded so I'm gonna go on to the first VM Windows Server 2016 and I'm going to choose right control and F to bring it into full screen I'm gonna select switch when I'm prompted to alright so now what we need to do is see what kind of IP addresses we have on the server and see if we are connected to the internet so I'm gonna select the start button and I'm gonna type in the uh, command or the search for CMD that's short for command prompt it's just running a little slow here searching 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 man that's slow alright I'm gonna select command prompt again I'm gonna type IP config okay so what we have here is this is our NAT this is the first adapter which is connected to NAT okay that's a network ad network address translation now 10.0.2.15 we cannot ping this from our host computer we cannot connect to this computer from this address however this Ethernet adapter we can ping but not in its current state right now it's giving us a 196 or 169.254 address and what that means is it was trying to grab an IP address from DHCP but it couldn't contact DHCP remember we didn't enable that feature so it gives it a self it gives itself a private IP address okay and this is not accessible from any other source outside this computer so what we need to do is we need to change this to be an IP that's on our 192.168.2 network alright so over here on server manager I'm gonna choose local server and under Ethernet 2 it says it's assigned by DHCP and IP version 6 is enabled I'm gonna click on that right click on Ethernet 2 again and select properties I'm gonna uncheck IP version 6 because we're not using that I'm gonna select version 4 and choose properties and I'm gonna say use the following IP address settings and if you remember we use the 192.168.2 when we were setting up our host only network and this can be any network or any IP address from 2 all the way up to 254 okay you can use any of those now dot 1 is the address for our default gateway so you can't use that address and dot 255 is the broadcast address so you can't use that either now and you call it you can also not use dot 0 alright now I'm just gonna pick dot 10 just for the fun of it if I press tab it'll auto complete this information for me if it doesn't just put in 255.255.255.0 now for the default gateway this is going to be the same address oops get that right this is going to be the same address as the network that we created on the host only network so we used dot one if you remember so if I go back I'll just show you guys under VirtualBox file preferences network host only networks and number three if we click the edit settings we can see it's dot two dot one so this is going to be our default gateway alright so back over to this VM I'm gonna switch into full screen mode here and you can enter this uh, you know DNS server information if you'd like uh, I'm just gonna put Google that is 8.8.8 .8 .8. is Google's DNS servers so I will click OK click close alright so now it is connected to the network so if I open command prompt and I type in ping google.com let's test if I get a reply that means I'm connected to the internet so I'm gonna press enter and look at that it's working we're getting a reply from google.com now we still haven't tested if we're connected to other VMs or the host computer so let's let's test the host computer settings first I'm gonna hit right control and F to pop out a full screen now I'm just gonna give you a tip it's not gonna work okay and this is what throws most people off now I'm on my host computer here I've launched command prompt and I'm going to try and ping that VM that I just configured so 192.168.2.10 and I'm gonna type in dash T and what this does it means just keep pinging it and don't stop until I tell you to now to stop it you can hit left control and C and it will stop the command but I'm just gonna let that run so right now at this point a lot of people just freak out and think oh it's not working this network you know virtual box is broken it doesn't work that's not the case the problem is the firewall so I'm going to go back to my virtual machine 
And on Server Manager, I'm going to slide over here to the right, I believe it is. No, sorry, it's over here to the left. And under Windows Firewall, I'm going to select the blue text, okay? And we can see our ping is going here in the background. Now, I'm going to choose Advanced Settings. So we want to choose Properties here on the right, or in this main box here, you can choose Windows Firewall Properties. Okay, I'm going to click that. Wait for that to pop up. Okay, so now we have domain profile, private profile, and public profile. So what we need to do is click customize. Oops, not there. We need to click customize right here for protected network connections. And we're gonna uncheck ethernet too. I'm gonna select okay. Now we're gonna go to the private profile and do the exact same steps. Uncheck ethernet too. And for public profile, uncheck and click OK and if you notice in the background we now have a reply from our server so the connection is working that's great right alright now let's test and see if we can ping the host computer which my IP address on this host computer is dot 86 let's see if we can ping this address from our virtual machine alright so I'm gonna open command prompt on the virtual machine And I'm going to type in ping 192.168.1.86. This is the IP address of my host computer. And press enter. And there we go. We got a reply. So what this means, again, we can ping google.com. Okay, so we have internet access and we have a connection with our host computer. Now what we have to get going is the connection between the two VMs. And we're already done with this virtual machine. So what we can just do is minimize this. We don't want to power it off. And we're going to switch over to server 2. Okay, so we're going to re repeat the exact same steps. I'm going to go a little bit faster and we'll click, let's see, uh, local server, uh, Ethernet 2. I'm going to right click and choose properties, uncheck IP version 6, select Internet Protocol version 4 and choose properties. We're going to check the use the following address checkbox 192.168.2. And I'm going to use dot 11 since I used dot 10 already. I press tab, tab again, 192.168.2.1. That's the IP address of our server. 8.8.8.8. .8 okay, we're going to select OK. We're going to close this. And we're going to open command prompt and just verify the settings were taken. I'm going to say yes when it asks me about this network. Okay, IP config. And let's see here. So we have our NATed adapter and we have our new address okay so it looks like we're doing good so I'm gonna close command prompt close out of the network connections window I'm gonna open my firewall I'm going to go to advanced settings I'm gonna select customize for the domain profile again uncheck Ethernet 2 go to private profile uncheck Ethernet 2 hit OK Public profile, again, uncheck Ethernet 2. All right, so we'll click OK. Now we'll close out of this window. Now from my host computer, I'm going to ping. See, run a CLS command to clear the window, make it look prettier. I'm gonna hit the up arrow twice or a couple times, and now I have my ping command. I'm gonna change it to dot .11. So now I can ping dot .10, and I can ping dot .11, and I get a reply. So that means my host is talking to both VMs. Now from this VM, Let's try and make sure that we can ping google.com. So I know I'm going a little faster, but I think you already understand how to do this. Ping google.com, we're getting a reply, so we are connected to the internet. Now, here's what we've not done so far. Let's make sure that we can ping, or we can connect between the two VMs. So this is server number two. I wanna ping server number one. So ping 192.168.2.10. Now, if I get a reply from this, then we're all done and we're good to go. So I'm going to press enter and there we go. I'm getting a reply. So that means I have communication from my Windows Server 2016 2 VM and my Windows Server 2016 1 VM. We'll just verify that here on the first VM, make sure we can talk back. It's always good to make sure you can uh, communicate both directions, not just one. And I'm going to type in dot 11 and there we go. We got a reply. So we are all done with this tutorial. I hope that it helped you out. If it helped you at all, please like and subscribe. Also, you can check me out on Facebook and on my website, www.itflea.com. I do a lot of Windows Server training, and I uh, like helping people out. So send me a message, shoot me an email, contact me on the site, and I will see you guys next time.